what's up guys how are you doing welcome back to my channel my name is ses paulo and if you're new here kindly consider subscribing to this amazing channel in today's video i'm going to show you a tour of my kitchen and as you can see we are at the entrance and when you're in the living room this is what you see when you are looking inside the kitchen so i'm going to show you everything that is in there and as you can see the setup it's a uh, it's a kitchen that separate from the rest of the house but it's kind of like an open kitchen because there is no door as you can see there is no door when you're coming into the kitchen and let me just show you that's the fridge but we're not going to focus on that let me first start by showing you the other side and then we'll come back to the fridge so from the entrance the fridge is on your left and then on your right here we have where i keep all my gas cylinders so i have two gas cylinders the one i was using before and the one i'm currently using and i plan on getting rid of one because i feel like this is clutter i do not need to i just need one and this i have to fix that because i don't like what's going on here and it's pink i don't have a pink theme in my house and then this table here is also another part of the kitchen that i really have to work on you see why you're seeing the stains there like the scratches is because this used to be my working table and i used to do a lot of decor here so glue was stuck there like a lot of glue was falling on this table and to remove it i had to use a knife to remove the glue then i have to come and sand it before i paint it that's why you're seeing it looking like that it takes time to do these projects guys when you see me uploading this video it did not take one day because like you see that table i have been removing the glue for a long time and then i have to come and do all the other things but anyway we will see how it's going to turn out in the future next to the working table is my cooker and you've seen i put my gas cylinders under the working table to minimize on like to save on space and then next to it i have my cooker and you see the table is there next so when i'm cooking i just put my cooking ingredients on top of the table and then i can just cook easily here i just love how simple and convenient it is and i know i still have to work on the walls but i still haven't made up my mind and i never do something before i make up my mind so i still don't know if i want to put a wallpaper or i want to paint it and before i make up my mind i'm not going to touch it because i don't want to do two jobs that's why you're seeing the situation back there yes so if you want to save money maybe you can do that don't do something abruptly if you're not sure just take time and do it when you're sure 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 that's what you want so that's the cooking area it's as simple as that that's all we have the gas cooker the whatever what is it the gas cylinders the working table and i put the spoons in the drawer where the working table is at And on the far end of my cooking area is where my balcony door is at right here but before we go to that area let's go and see now what's on the other side of the cooking area where i have put my refrigerators and i have to reason being because i still have the one i was using from back in my bed sitter days and the one i recently bought and i have not yet gotten rid of it so because i don't have another place where i can keep it it i just decided because i have enough space i just keep it here although i really want to get rid of it because i feel like it's occupying space for no reason because it has nothing like it can like this other fridge is big enough to fit all my needs so i do not need the other one at all so i know that is unnecessarily there but it's going to go away and as for the car emoji there i don't know who put it there it's not supposed to be there but anyway we filmed the video when it was there and yes it's here i'm uploading it already 
as for the small peeling on my fridge that's the price you pay for having kids in your house i don't know how i'm going to manage when i have my own kids because we're going to fight over small things like this but anyway that is the fridge and i love it so much and i would say that one thing i feel like you will never regret investing in is the fridge because once you stock it you go to the market and you stock things here you save quite a lot of money as compared as to buying things daily that one like i have saved a lot of money on food since i bought a fridge that one i can account for because i keep my records so next to my fridge is the other tiny fridge and on top of the tiny fridge is where i have put my microwave and like a small diy coffee station that i put up there and that is how the place looks looks like and it's a very simple kitchen as you can see it doesn't have more than finishes but i have learned to make it work for me and i'm learning to love it as i work on it then here is my storage area and this is the only storage the storage cabinets that are on top this is the only one that's available and funny thing is that it's enough for me even right now you can see it's empty and when i come with shopping i usually put the excess shopping where you can see i have excess storage so it's not a lot but it's enough for me because i don't have many things and i don't like having a lot of utensils like i like having three plates three cups five spoons like that i don't like having 10 plates uh they're not necessary like those are all my utensils you see those plates those are all the plates that i ordered my friends are always complaining i don't have plates but i don't feel like it's necessary because they work for me Just next to the storage cabinet, we have the kitchen window and below it, we have the kitchen sink. And this, as you can see, is the strainer, which accommodates all my utensils and then the sink, which I don't really love. There's a lot of work I have to do on this sink because it's very old. And as you can see, the corners of the tiles, they're coming out. I have tried doing a little bit of transformation, but it's still not a good site. So we're not concentrating on that. We'll come and concentrate on it once we transform it. And then here, this is the best part about this house. The balcony has a very nice view. So from the kitchen window, when you open, when you draw the curtains, this is the view that you get. It is amazing. I have never had a better view than this because I mean, I can see trees. I can see very nice view. And from, I don't want to see exactly where I am, but it's a very nice view. If you look ahead, you can see, oh God, just see the trees for now. And it's amazing. When you wake up in the morning and you just stand here with the window open or you just stand on the balcony it's such a relaxing place even for meditation but anyway today we're not going to concentrate on the balcony but that is the door leading to the balcony we are going to see that once we are transforming the balcony but today we are only focusing on the kitchen and this is basically everything i'm going now to show you haraka haraka all that we have so when you're standing on the balcony door this is the view that you get the things are right there and as you can see the kit you can even see inside the living room because the windows the doors are not closed there are no doors it's open so you can see everything from here and i'm showing you this video guys because i'm about to transform the kitchen if you see me showing you a tour of a place it's because we are about to transform it and i just want to show you guys how it looks like right now before i transform it of course i have other videos of how it used to look like before when i had the other cooker and the other fridge and i'm going to link the video after this video so you can click on it and see how we started the journey from when the kitchen was empty to where it is right now
that is all for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it and if you did give it a big thumbs up and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll get notified every time i upload a new video and also tell me in the comment section what do you think about this kitchen tour what do you think about this kitchen it's a an old kitchen but i'm trying to make it look modern so i hope you like it and i'll see you in the next videos where i'm going to show you now transforming this kitchen on like a very small budget because we do things on a budget here and we love decor and transformation well guys i'll see you next time don't forget to follow me on instagram at Cess designs and at Cess paulo i love y'all bye Mwah.